um, when you talk about the um, development, the Southwest has always been at the forefront of development in Nigeria. The Southwest has always been, how do I, how do I put it, um, the quote unquote the melting point, or let me, or, or how do I put it, the 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 cool point, let me say that in Nigeria. But we know what we know. The Eagles and the Northerners don't seem, in quote, to agree. So it's only the Southwest that seem to be at the middle. Like, okay, a relationship with the houses, accommodating. No, no, everybody's accommodating. It's a fact. The Eagles are, and because I, I don't tell people to, to, to travel out, to travel out of their zone. I've been at different places in Nigeria. The Eagles can be so accommodating. They are, no, very accommodating. They are, I mean, the houses, they can be so accommodating. I don't talk about the Fulanese because the Fulanese are giving the Asas a bad name. The Asas themselves are accommodating because they are the most accommodating. Obviously, they are all Nigerians. But I'm looking at, I'm talking about the Southwest. I'm talking about because the Asas or the Fulanese and the Eagles. Let me tell you, if not for the Yorubas in Nigeria, Nigeria will, have, Nigeria will have been different countries because I don't see, in quotes, a way where the Eagles and the North will ever come together. Do you know why? The Yorubas, we have. Christians and Muslims in between us, and we live peacefully with each other. I'm going somewhere. The Igbos are mutually Christians, 98%. The Aussas, the Fulani, are mutually Muslims, 80%. Right? So you must at the middle. So it's your boss to, 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 to be in the middle as a peacemaker in quotes between the Yoba, uh, Igbos and the Aussas. How is the Yoba people? You understand? Because I give an example. If the Yobas have agreed, not the part of Nigeria. That okay, in the civil war, we want that Yobas decide to stay away from it. They all have been divided. But because Yobas started with, with I mean, Aulo started with Nigeria, that's why Nigeria is today. If Yobas are started with Biafra, I mean, majority of Yobas, because of Yobas, like Shoinka, some of our uh, generals, they, they fought alongside Biafra. But majority fought with Nigerians. As if they fought with Biafra, Biafra today will have been an independent country. Or if Yobas have stayed away completely, that only between the north and the south today, we have all been, I will have been, you have been. So, you must have always been in the middle, you must have always contributed to find a way to contribute peace. I, I'm talking about even the old Yobas that we used to know because I'm talking about these new politicians and the way they are breeding our young people. I'm not supportive of it. They are seeing full big country. I don't want to go to that link, but the old Yobas talk about the, the, the history of Nigeria. Look at the old one Nera note. I'm going to see Macaulay. The man was a Yoruba man. He was the first founder of Nigeria's oldest party in Nigeria, NNDP, Nigerian National Development, uh, uh, Democratic Party. Macaulay was a Yoruba man. Yeah, about Macaulay. He was a Yoruba man. That's the grandson of um, this man that, that interpreted the Bible to Yoruba. Understand? So, so Yoruba have always had this something for democracy. It's against the military in culture. So when Obasanjo became general, he was the first ever general, for example, to, to conduct election in Nigeria history. Obasanjo is the first ever military president of Ula uh, to hand over to, to civilians. So, come on, democracy, Yoba, we always, we, we, we like a, a, a situation whereby there's democratic rule. Then I talk about the press, you understand? And if, and if I look back to nostalgia when when, when, when there was a um, regional system of government, government in Nigeria, no matter how you look at it, so I'm talking about objective point of view. It was the Southwest that was leading. I'm talking about peace setters in Nigeria. You talk about first TV in West Africa, first stadium, first federation, first press by our father, Father Mawolowo. That's what I mean. So, so now there, can, there might be resentment by other nationalities in Nigeria because of maybe the role he played. In the civil war, it's by siding with Nigeria, which I don't know. I don't, wherever he is today, I don't know how he'll be feeling. But the one Nigeria that, that, that he fought for, I don't think it has worked and it's not working. You understand? But so, so when you look at from that angle of Nigeria, you, you, you look at that, okay, the South has played, played a prominent role in, in, in peace, in development, in, 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 in fostering unity. In Nigeria, take it or you leave it. If, if, if Nigeria were to be only a nation of the Eagles, majority and of the of, of the North, Nigeria will never be one to be. Nigeria will have been dismembered. 
I don't I, I don't see how, how how can we come together because since the division uh, more than ever before that we are experiencing now, how can we come together? How can South West contribute to Nigeria's unity? Um I, no, that's a very good that's a very good um, uh, question. Our uh, leaders in the Southwest nowadays, um I don't think that they are nothing they are nothing to write home about. Instead they are part and parcel of the people that are even causing this unity in Nigeria. That's that's the fact. You see, for example, somebody that said that um, it goes must go, and I thank God that your bad leaders now are saying no, the goes cannot go. And you have seen your bad landlords, you've seen your bad market women are saying that if the goes leave Lagos, Lagos will be like a desert, or if the goes leave Lagos, we go to rent their houses. They are saying it openly. Elderly people, not even me. Understand? So, 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 how has that go to a stage where your bad people telling it goes for people to leave their their land? What does that tell you? You understand? So, if your bad people want to be our leaders, want to foster peace in Nigeria, they will caution these people that are, that, that, that are fanning embers of hatred, embers of disunity. Can't tell a major time for anybody to go anywhere. If people are not telling you about to leave their place, I'm not telling anybody, why would you tell your, uh, you people to leave, anybody to leave? You understand what I'm saying? So, our leaders should not find a way to come and uh, uh, sit, sit down. And tell, and tell the youth, there is no place for bigotry in 2024. There is no place for Taiwan in 2024. You cannot be riding on Taiwan to be winning elections. You understand? But that, that is the biggest evil that ever happened. You are riding on tribalism to win elections. Ah, this one, I'm evil. No, 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 no. Since Nigeria is one, we are all one. And even if Nigeria is separated, for example, you are free to leave any country. As far as you are legitimate leg 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 citizens. I saw some lazy people talking nonsense, but I cautioned them that if, uh, if we pursue the boy, we are going to take over their shop. I said, you don't have brain, you don't think like that. In 2024, you don't think like that. You, you, should, you should have this mentality of, 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 of inclusiveness. There are Yoruba, for example, in Abia, and we saw them. They are appealing to the governor and they saw you. There are Yoruba people in Anambra. I have, a, I have a somebody in my family. In Imo State, he's a mechanic, doing well. Doing well. He's a mechanic. Understand? Some are in data, as about some are in different places. Am I right? And they are making their money any, any legitimate. Then you are not telling people from this place to go. Go to where? They are here in the north, doing well. So Nigeria has become one big nation that anybody that is doing legitimately can decide to stay and stay in peace, in harmony with their brothers. Understand? So, so like I always tell people, it is the poor people that should come out and speak with one voice. You understand what I mean, Mr. Christian? Yeah, so I'm talking here at the background, they are egos, they are your bars. They are, they, 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 are, they are doing well. There's no problem. The only time when problems seem to come is when election is near. They will throw that, 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 that tribalism card. And people that have been together, that are talking together, that, 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 that are facing these challenges, they will not, they will not fall for the, uh, for the, for, for the pandas. Of, of 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 the politicians and they start dividing themselves again. Ah, Moibo, Amu Kalaba, Amu Aosa. No, 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 no. We are all one, and we are working to to survive. Because the poor people, because if the rich men at the top in Abuja, they are not fighting for tribalism, they are sharing the same cast. They are they are collecting about one million every month in the Senate. They want with poor people that cannot even afford to eat, be divided along religion and uh, and ethnic lines. You understand? So, 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 our leaders should find a way to caution the youth, and them, their own language again should not be tilted toward tribalism or ethnic jingoism. You can't continue like this. Okay. 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 So, how you want to look at it? But I know what South West have uh, contributed, people from the inception. Uh, when we wanted to obtain independence, we know the contribution of uh, the South West. From the first political party in Nigeria was formed by Abbott, I mean, Abbott Macaulay, it's a Yoruba man, he's a grandson of uh, 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 Ajayi Krider. Then moving down the lane, Sifoba Femi Awolowo, so many uh, 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 people that come from the uh, 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 southwest here. So to tell you that uh, their contribution is not uh, 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 something you can overemphasize but there is no way if you say a nigeria without a southwest it should also be a nigeria it's also be a country 
Yoruba, there are so many countries that you, you don't find the Yoruba there. And they are a country. The Gay Republic is a country. Burkina Faso is a country. Uh, Democratic Republic of Congo is also a country. They are doing uh, uh, their own thing in the way, that, I mean, according to their own uh, 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 capacity. According to their own capacity. So, uh, uh, are you talking about geographical location of the Southwest or people of the Southwest? Because when you talk about geographical location, you talk about ocean. Yeah, the most developed uh, state in Nigeria is from the Southwest. Yes, it's from it's from Southwest, but I don't want to attribute that one uh, based on based on because it is in Southwest. There is one adage in Yoruba land. They will say. Oburo, Obari, and Yorokoma, dear, be at Ari, or no, but Aleno. There is alligator paper, alligator paper. There is another one, I don't know this other one, they call it Oburo. It's not as peppery as alligator paper. So, Yoruba now said, if to say Oburo also see somebody that you take care of it, like uh, uh, the other one, it will also be peppery. So, I don't want to attribute the development, maybe you are talking about Lagos State. I don't want to attribute the development of Lagos State. Uh, to maybe because uh, we are Yoruba. If other people also occupy uh, Lagos, Lagos State will also develop. And if other area also, if the country concentrate on it and they manage their resources very well, then the place will also develop. Now, if you are talking about people in the Southwest or in the Lagos, apart from Lagos State, that Lagos State is being blessed with the, uh, 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 some uh, ge geographical uh, uh, blessing, advantage, like also like uh, like we are the border, all, all sorts of things. Let's talk about intelligence of people here. Let me tell you one thing. If somebody is bad, tell him he's bad. But don't forget to tell him the area of his potential. I want to talk about Asiwaju. Asiwaju is a devil. But devil will also have some, some of the thing to be in existence. I think you understand what I'm saying. I'm talking about a, a financial sagacity. The man is corrupt. But apart from that one, he knows how to turn, how to bring something out of nothing. It was seen that, oh, see refuse all around. You can turn this into money. Oh, look at all these area boys. They are menace, they are causing menace. Let's bring them in. Give them something to be dealt with. You can see our roads are being bombed uh, with all this uh, roadside something. Create something look like Kai. Go and be dealing with them. They collect something, some, sometimes they pay fine. By that, they are paying uh, to the citizen. They are, I mean, they are collecting salary. Our roads are being maintained. So many, 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 many. I usually been I usually laughed with, uh, uh, at some instance, but Fantinubu was Lagos State Governor. What did he do? I would laugh at them. I would laugh at them. It's no. I don't want to base even when we talk about infrastructure. He did something. He may not be as smart as you expected of him, but you cannot base all gov uh, government achievement based on all the infrastructure and all the things. Look at the strategy. Did you plan for your future? There are some steps you take. It's not about now. It's about future. You plant seeds today. It cannot germinate. That moment is for future purpose. So that's why what I'm trying to talk about. I will, apart from talking about the geographical location of the southwest, talk about the intelligence of people that you find here. It, you will be surprised that as another as this uh, uh, civil justice is going. The other one that will succeed him is a Yoruba man, Kekeri Ekun. And I think he's the one that next to him. If not, there will have been noise that they want to jump somebody to take uh, Kekeri Ekun. Kekeri Ekun. So even when we are talking about legal uh, something, you find Yoruba people, you find them, you find them there. Thank you. You, you. you find them there. And are you talking about culture? We have a very rich culture. We have a very rich culture. Example of it's just that they are, they are doing it at the wrong time. Example of our, uh, uh, I mean, where you can see where we display our rich culture is what just happened at Oju Dioba, Oju Dioba, and like that, like that. You see where, the way we display, even our attire alone, so that we are, uh, uh, I mean, 
we, we are we, we, we are such people that everybody want to emulate if you, go, if you see where we go rock our attire you know that there's something there I, I, oh, is it our language our language you, 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 uh, there's no there's no area that don't have their own i mean uh, 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 that don't have their own uh, peculiarity south east also have their own peculiarity and Southwest have their own peculiarity, but I want to tell you now that Yoruba language from Oibo, if they speak Yoruba, yes, now they, they, in fact, some of them are coming here to learn language. They are doing our worshiping. I mean, they worship Ifa. Oibo are now worshiping Ifa. It's not just started though. Go and study the, the life of somebody like a Susan Winger. Come all the way, is it Poland or something? So come and learn. He was a lecturer of a Yoruba at Obafemi Awolo University. A white woman. If it's, if it's the other time when Oni went there, when she was uh, communicating with Oni, you, 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 you. So the 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 importance of Southwest in Nigeria is, is not small, but at the same time, it's not that Nigeria cannot survive without Southwest. And if it is other people that occupy Southwest, Nigeria will also be South, uh, be, be be Nigeria. And apart from Lagos, if other area or also concentrated upon and the, man, the resources are being well managed they will also be developed they will also be developed so mine is how can the southwest contribute to nigeria's unity and also nigeria developing uh, ah. you see development of nigeria is not what one part of a particular country can, can, can carry upon its shoulder it has to be all and must be on the desk, but uh, 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 based on mm, based on maybe we maybe because we have advantage, you know, we have advantage more than each other. Eh? Uh, maybe because of our geographical location, maybe because we are more liberated, maybe because we are more educated. Uh -huh. In that area, we can contribute. But the problem is that. When you are trying to drag in some people and they refuse to be dragged along, they refuse to be moved. That's why I say all hands must be on the desk. A, a kid that you want to carry, have to raise up his hand. You want to carry a baby, then you do like this. It will be very difficult for you to carry. You that you don't even want to carry a baby, a baby, then a baby do like this. You know that you don't want to come, then you will leave, you will leave the baby. But for the for development of this country, the whole site, all and have to be on the deck. The southeast, they have very much important things to contribute. Southwest have so much uh, important things to contribute. Likewise, not. So you, have, you have said that you don't have the, the, the problem that you have. And to some extent, they are problematic. I don't want to sound like that, but I like being factual. To some extent, they, 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 they seem to be problematic in their own way. It's not their fault in their own way. Let me tell you, first of all, if religion consumes almost all your life, then you may you may find it difficult to move forward. And even if you are not practicing that religious the way it should be practiced, honestly speaking, they are just practicing religious in the north in, in the way not to be practiced. Because in Saudi Arabia, where the the Islam comes from. Go and check there. They are doing well for their own citizens. But in the north here, I don't know what their leader is doing. Only what they are after is to be in power. And after being in power, what is the Abi? What do you see? Buhari was there for eight years. During that time of uh, Buhari's eight years. Now that now also they, they face challenges. If to say because their father is there, they can store something. I think what they have stored that time shouldn't have finished now. But they are the ones that cry most now. So I don't know to some extent they are they they, they I'm not the one that said it, but they themselves they say that they lack behind economically. The, the worst thing is that the richest man in Nigeria, you find it in the north. I'm telling you, if you want to see the poorest of the poorest, you find it in the north. Intelligence, you find it in the north. The most dumb. Momo, you find it there. 
I don't know how to, even if rain want to fall there, it will fall to the extent that so many places will be eroded. And if it is going to be sunny, their sun will be biting. If it is going to be windy, oh my God, the sun will be so windy, and when it's going to be heat, it's going to be, it's their nature. But to some extent, they are a bit lag behind, and they are putting hands into other people's uh, territory, and yet they lag behind. Go and check the oil well. Majority of the, majority of the oil well in the Niger Delta belong to them. That's the truth of the matter. Yet they will still be the one that will be crying. They will still be the one that will be crying. Let me tell you. Look at Dangote. When Dangote wanted to cite his uh, refinery, why can't he cite it in the north? He couldn't. He has reason not to start it in the north. Major, in fact, majority of his uh, uh, investment, I'm not sure they are, they are in the north. I'm not sure. I think because of insecurity. Maybe because of insecurity. You can see what, what, what I'm trying to say. That the refinery, if it was in the north, of recent, when we are doing protests, if they don't bring such idea, they can go there and set it up. It's not their fault. They are, what I don't know and what I don't have, it's not my fault. You cannot give what you don't have. Yes, you cannot give what you don't have. So they give what they have. And unfortunately, they are leader. They, they work on their intelligence and weaponize it. And they keep them like a, a zombie. Whenever they need them, they bring them out.